Okay, uh, we're at Burke's Catholic High School today. Bruce Badgley and uh, Rick Healy, the uh, longtime coach here at the Burke's Catholic and before that at Holy Name, mm-hmm. has called it a career. Rick, uh, why here, why now? Well, you know, why, when? How do you decide when? And, you know, people always ask that question. And, you know, I'm, I've been a year-to-year guy for a while now, and as long as I enjoy doing it and as long as the, the kids are receptive to my style of coaching and as long as the school wants me back, you know, I come back and keep going. And, you know, our, your whole career as a coach, you're teaching kids not to give up, not to quit, to keep working. So I don't know how to quit, you know. So, But in discussions with my wife over the years, it, you know, there's more years behind me than what's what ahead of me coaching. And she, she says, how long are you going to do it? I said, you know, I don't know. And she said, well, are you going to do it until something happens to you physically and you can't do it anymore? And that really, that really got me thinking. So there's a lot of things that her and I want to do together, uh, even if that's just sitting on the front porch together. Uh, football takes a lot of your time. So we want to do those things together, and Saturday I'm going to turn 70. So wow. uh, I thought it's a good time to do it. You know, the program's going into another section next year. Uh, somebody new can take over and lead the team into that new section. So I thought this would be a good time. Uh, I'm still healthy. She's still healthy. And, you know, we plan on doing a lot of neat things together. And, you know, so I stepped down, but I'm still going to be around. Uh you know, I love the game. I'm going to be going to games, and, you know, I just – I'm going to enjoy, still going to enjoy football. I just won't have the commitment of having to be at a certain place at a certain time all year round. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to keep you in mind as maybe a color analyst on some football <laughs> broadcasts here. I mean, you had a few coaches here retire. That, that's always great. But, you know, uh, obviously you've been coaching a long time. In high school football, what have been some of the, you know, kind of big changes that you've seen over your career in high school that's really changed the game? Well, I think well, the first thing you have to look at is is the, the weight rooms that are, that are around now and the commitment that kids have made to the weight room and the diets that these kids are following to make themselves bigger, faster, and stronger. That is certainly an advantage. Uh, that the kids have over kids that have played, you know, years ago. And, uh, you know, I don't think the kids are any tougher today than what they were years ago. But the advantages of these weight rooms now and all the supplements and things that are out there helping to make them bigger, stronger, and all the great clinics that are out there for coaches to go to. You know, you can become a, a better coach, and you become a better coach. You learn new things. How many of those new things can you actually teach your kids and, and not take that too far? Uh you know, they're, they're the things that, you know, I think are a little bit different in the program today. But, you know, the kids work hard, and I, I enjoy that commitment. How about the technology aspect of it? Obviously, you're getting all of this, you know, the statistics thrown at coaches each and every day, you know, with the huddle or whatever like that. But are you more of a, you know, a old school guy that relied really on, you know, your skills and your gut feel rather than statistical analysis to coach football? I'm still old school. Uh, you still have all those statistics, and you can look at you know f- formations that they're going to come out in, and uh, what do they like to do out of these formations. And uh, for me, you know, I still break down the film myself, and you know the way I do it, I, I diagram every run play that our opponent does. What they run to the left is on the left side of the paper. What they run to the right is on the right side. Flip it over. Their passes on the on the back on the left and passes they, they run to the right or on the right and then I and then I take that paper and then I take that and I go by formation okay what are the runs they do out of the what we call red formation what are the runs they do out of one formation and do I put all that information together and I see that over and over and over again that gives me a really good feel when I'm playing somebody as to what they're going to do instead of trying for me to try to call statistics you know, I'm a visual learner. I like, I like to see it happen. And when I see it happen over and over again, then I can talk to our kids about when they're in this formation, this is what they like to do. When they're in this formation, this is what they like to do. That's how I did it. You know, it's always been about the kids, you know, for you, as long as we've known each other. I obviously, I've known you for a few years uh, and now. It's always been about the kids. But what are some of the, the accomplishments that you're most proud of as a football coach over your career? Well, 
you know, to be able to do this for so long, you know, that's, <laughs> that's an accomplishment. Uh, you know, I thank my wife, Sharon, because if you're going to do this for as long as I've done this, you have to have tremendous amount of support at home. When you're here, you know, she's home alone now that all our kids are out of the house. And I was blessed with four kids and two of them, my two sons, they both played for me. Uh, when I went to Hamburg there for those three years, you know, I coached my son Michael as a sophomore, but then I coached against him as his junior and senior <laughs> year. So, you know, that was an experience, and uh, I got to coach them both in the all-star games that, that we had back in the day, and, and just the rivalries. Uh, you know, somebody, you know, had asked me the other day the rivalries that built up that, you know, when it was Holy Name Central Catholic rivalry to be a big part of that. And once we became Burke's Catholic, you know, Burke's Catholic Wyo rivalry became a big part of that. And, you know, to, to get these rivalries going and, you know, over the course of the year that, you know, when you can play a team that's undefeated and beat them, that's a big thing. You know, when somebody's 0-1 and you're the one, you're very proud of that. And in respect to those opponents as well, you know, we've been something and won a couple times. And, you know, <laughs> the coaches you coach against that when you were undefeated, they, they were able to come up with a victory against your team. And, and that, that coaching camaraderie that's established as a result of that, that's just special. Yeah, and how does it feel to you that you were just honored this last season by your peers to be voted, you know, into the Pennsylvania Coaches Hall of Fame? I mean, uh, obviously, I was there. I saw you riding around the track, <laughs> you know, on that uh, uh, on that motorcycle, arms race, or whatever like that. But deep inside, how did that really make you feel? Well, when when other people recognize the the amount of time and, and work and, and effort that you put into doing something and, and you can be somewhat successful at it over an extended period of time, to have people recognize that, it's just a satisfying feeling. It just, it makes you feel good. And uh, I was really feeling it. I, I was, I gotta tell you, that was, that, was a nice, that was a nice day for me. My family, you know, were able to all come up there and, uh, you know, see me going around the track on a motorcycle and, you know, being able to, Wear that little badge they give sure. you. My, my grandkids that were there, they, they couldn't wait to, to do that. So, you know, that, that was a very special time. And, you know, when you recognize people for accomplishments, that's, that's a good thing. And, you know, we, have to, we should do more of that. Yeah, I agree. And so as you move off into retirement, um, are you going to, you know, be involved in any particular team or are you going to help out? What do you envision, you know, your involvement as you go into the fall you know, with high school football, if any? Well, it's, you know, first is going to be the Keeley grandkids team. <laughs> I have 13 grandkids. Oh, and my God. As a matter of fact, we had to babysit four of them because my, my son and his wife had to go to teacher conferences, so we ba babysit them. Uh, my dad, he's 91 years old, and he's still farming. And, you know, earlier this week, I, you know, went to our Gold Leaf Banquet here, here in Berks County. And when I left home to go there, he was out in the field picking corn. And, you know, I want to be there to help him with that. Uh, my wife Sharon, her and I have things that that we want to do together, and you know your your time is limited. You know, even in the off season for football, you still have responsibilities to do. So, you know, to spend some time with her, going places and doing things, and you know, it, it might be hard for me to find time to get to a football game next year. I don't know, <laughs> but you know, it's certainly something I want to do. You know, and we'll see as the weekend gets near and what are the family plans. And you know, if there's no family plans, you know ask permission to go to a football game, you know. <laughs> well, that's a little bit different, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we'll take it day by day there as well. And, you know, football has been a big part of my life, you know, basically for 60 years with 48 years of coaching and the four years of CYO ball and four years of high school ball and four years of college ball. Uh, it's been a big part of my life. So it's not just going to drop off. It's not just going to stop. You know, I'm still going to be around the game and uh, pick and choose where I want to go. And certainly Burke's Catholic's going to, going to see my face around a lot to, to, to be supportive of them. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been an absolute thrill for me. Uh, I've always been honored to, uh, you know, talk football with uh, Rick Keeley. He's always been so kind of his time to me, and I personally just want to thank you for everything that you've done for me. And I, I just wish you all the luck in the world, my friend. Take care. Well, thank you very much, and uh, it's good to be lucky. <laughs> that is good to be lucky. All right, thank you very much for watching.